living thing on Earth and create organisms that have never before existed. That's what's happening here in this lab at Imperial College in London. The researchers aren't just studying life, they're reshaping it. This is synthetic biology, an emerging science which could transform industry, medicine and the fuels we use. The potential for a new industrial revolution is actually very clear. Um, it is very clear that these techniques can be applied across a wide range of different fields, uh, from healthcare right through to energy and uh, agriculture. So what is synthetic biology? Well, the starting point is something that's been around for years, genetic modification. That's when scientists take a cell, here's a virtual one, magnified, and there's the bundle of genes inside it, and they modify them by inserting, splicing in DNA from another organism. But what they're doing now goes much further. It relies on the fact that DNA is a kind of code for life, made up of just four basic building blocks represented here by these four different letters. Now, as with any engineering process, these components can simply be rearranged to design brand new genes. What the scientists do is take those four basic building blocks, they're just chemicals, here they are, the real thing, mix them up to create their own version of synthetic, man-made DNA. The final stage is the most extraordinary. They take a cell with all of its own original DNA stripped out and insert the synthetic DNA, getting the organism to do whatever they want, taking control of nature. So what can this do? Well, the fight against malaria carried by mosquitoes will see a vaccine made with synthetic biology later this year. Algae with synthetic genes could make fuel. We could be driving with the stuff in years ahead. And new crops may cope with drought or disease to feed a world of seven billion, one of countless ideas. We're here today to announce uh, the first uh, synthetic cell. Two years ago, an American scientist, Craig Venter, announced the first living thing with synthetic DNA. But are we ready for such a fundamental step? These advances are exciting but terrifying. Exciting because they offer the possibility of creating new life forms that will deal with many of the world's greatest problems, but at the same time will create life forms that the human immune system and the, the, human and the, and the world have never so far experienced or encountered. Over the years, campaigners have fought genetic science, attacking GM crops, and they're more worried about this new research. But the scientists say they're doing everything safely. We're actually working within the design phase about how we can develop kill switches. These are little mechanisms that the organism would, would kill itself or other types of mechanisms that would ensure that the the organism doesn't interfere with the natural world, which is what we don't want to happen. It was only 60 years ago that scientists discovered how genes worked as the code for life. Now they're taking charge. We're on the brink of a new era, and the public debate about it has only just begun. David Shookman, BBC News. Criminals in England and Wales.